So while most people are talking about The Little Mermaid, which I will be, I decided that I wanted to go see another movie that was more, say, off the beaten trail. And I remembered this movie called The Machine was coming out this weekend. Or, honestly, I just saw that it was out. I'm like, oh, cool. And this was a movie I think I saw a trailer for once. And at first it was confusing, but then it just kind of looked goofy and fun and action-filled. Mark Hamill was in it, and I'm like, oh, okay, that looks like it could be, just be a fun, brainless time. And yeah, so I decided, you know what? I'm going to come check it out. I did check the trailer out again just to confirm that what I had remembered or what I had thought was actually right and it was still applied because didn't want to waste my time seeing this movie if I totally misjudged it. But yeah, so I'm getting ready to go in and see it. I'm just expecting this to be crazy, goofy, you know, action-packed, stupid comedy, you know, nothing great, but hopefully a good enough time at the movies that I'm like not thinking, why did I bother watching it? And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing Mark Hamill in another crazy, insane role. So for Phantom University, this is Unedited Reviews, The Machine. When I worked at the movie theater, it always bugged me when people would ask about movies or ask what they were about, because I'm like, didn't you do your own research? The biggest one for me I remember was during Greatest Showman, I would have, I had somebody come out and be like, we don't want to see this, we want our money back because it's a musical and we didn't know that. And I was thinking to myself, did you not see the trailers? Did you not see on the poster it says from the people who did these shows? But I guess I should have taken my own advice because while I did see the trailer for this movie, I did not realize that Bert Kreschner, I know I'm saying his last name wrong, was a stand-up comedian. Though I guess it should have made sense when I think about it. But after seeing this movie, I did go back and watch his specials slash just listen to him. And for the most part, I thought, yeah, these are okay. They're not great. But he had some really funny stuff. But all that out of the way, I'm still not entirely sure about this machine story. Not entirely sure about it. But anyway, this movie feels a lot like the recent Nicolas Cage film. The unimaginable, massive weight of unbearable talent I think it's something like that where it feels like it could be a mockumentary or it's a you know looking at his life in a joking way and exuberant I forget I can't I can't I can't remember the words right now but you know exaggerating everything um because I will say the movie overall is entertaining it's definitely better than I thought it would be. It does have a little more heart than I was expecting. I actually cared about the people more than I thought I would, to be honest. The performances overall were fine. They were satisfying. I thought the actors and actresses that played the members of the Russian family were really good. Um, some of their jokes I thought were really funny, especially there's one about Urkel. Just leave it at that. I thought that was entertaining. Um, there's really only one huge action scene. You get glimpses of it in the trailer. That was definitely what I was waiting for. Um, that was good. It was definitely fun to see him do the fight scene. Um, but yeah, I mean, honestly, the performances were just, eh, it's a comedy. And I don't know if he was really suited to do a movie. I mean, yes, it's based on his stand-up or his story so it only makes sense that he does it I guess but honestly this probably in my opinion would have been a better tv movie or something but the fact that you got Mark Hamill to come in and play his father was I kept asking myself after I'm like how did they get Mark Hamill to do this what did Mark Hamill see or he must have been the main part of the budget but then thinking about it talking to people afterwards they're like 
well, Mark Hamill just likes to do crazy, insane things. So maybe it was just the script and he just wanted to have fun. Maybe he wanted to do an indie project. I don't know. But he definitely is having fun at times with this movie. He's entertaining as the father. The jokes, for the most part, they're hit or miss. The big jokes are the ones they reveal in the trailer. So that's kind of... That's kind of disappointing because if you've watched the trailer, you've already laughed at some of the biggest jokes. But... Yeah, I mean, it's... Is it an action comedy? I mean, it kind of is. But I have a hard time saying that because... I don't know. It just... There's just something about it that doesn't feel quite right in calling it an action comedy. Maybe because there's not enough action. Maybe because it's really just a stand-up guy. Stand-up comedian doing a movie. I don't know. Um, not that he can't do a movie. But... I don't know, there's just something about it. And like I said, the story itself is actually actually better than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be, oh, this one adventure and we're just going to tell jokes and we're just going to do this. Which is really what, all I wanted. I didn't expect it to really exhilarate me or blow my mind. But I couldn't help but think a little bit about things as I watched this movie. Um, as an example, my dad and I definitely aren't like... Uh, this guy and his dad supposedly um but you know there were some things i couldn't help but feel like yeah i've thought that about my dad or i feel like he's thought that about me you know at times so again not to the height or to the extent that they did in this movie but yeah i could relate at times like i said the performances overall were good um, the family was fine, but I'm going to say it was kind of very basic because they didn't play as big a part in it. His wife and kids, his daughters, I don't think those are his actual family. I think I looked it up and they're not. So, yeah, I mean, that was fine. They set the stage. Um, I did really like, though, how they, when they spoke Russian, how they translated it just how it would pop up on screen it wasn't just across the bottom like you would come to expect they did it in a unique way I liked how they showed the locations of things so yeah overall this is not a movie I think you need to go see in theaters but if you like this guy then yeah you'll definitely already probably be going to see it you'll definitely be entertained it's one that I feel like when it comes out on probably Netflix because that's where I think a lot of his stuff is or when it comes out to rent go ahead and rent it for me i would rank this movie as a civilian again because there's good stuff in it it's enjoyable i don't hate myself for going to see this movie but it's not a movie that i need to see again or it's not one i need to rush out again or one that i can highly recommend so yeah with all that being said did you see the machine or did you see any of his stand-up before this movie Whatever your thoughts, let me know. Do I not understand his stand-up comedy? Or did I expect too little? Or whatever your thoughts, don't forget to comment down below. Tell me what you thought of the movie if you've seen it. Are you looking forward to seeing it more? Are you going to just ignore it? Whatever the case, let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already a member. Trying to get to 100 subscribers this year. If I get 100 by the end of the year, maybe I'll do something. Not sure what. Would like to, but again, not sure what. But remember, whatever the case, read what you love, enjoy what you love, and let's all work for a better fandom. I'll see you next time.